This is Terry Dismore on 84 WHAS. We just received this from the National Weather Service. A tornado is just west of Taylorsville, Kentucky. Now, this tornado is on the ground and moving east at 25 miles per hour. If you are in Taylorsville and Taylorsville State Park, take cover now. This is according to the National Weather Service. It's an extremely dangerous situation. Radar and spotters have seen this tornado. Take cover now. If you are just west of Taylorsville, if you're in Taylorsville or in Taylorsville State Park, take cover now. More news on the weather and the elections and everything else that's going on coming up here on 84 WHAS. Good evening, everyone. This is Craig Edwards from the Wave 3 Weather Center. The National Weather Service has just issued a tornado warning. That is a tornado warning for Jefferson County. According to uh, the National Weather Service, the radar indicates there is a tornado moving into the western sections of Jefferson County. This includes the areas right along the river. The uh, warning will be in effect until 10.30 p.m. Now, this is a tornado warning, so there are sirens now going off in the western sections of Jefferson County as this storm continues to move to the east. Right now, we're telling everyone in Jefferson County to take precautions. Now is the time to take cover from a tornado that's moving into the western sections of Jefferson County. This warning effective until 1030 uh, tonight. We've had numerous reports of large hail in the western sections of Jefferson County. Once again, a tornado warning for Jefferson County, especially the western half. Stay tuned to Wave 3 for further details. We interrupt this program because of a local emergency. Important information will follow. We interrupt this program to activate the New Albany Emergency Broadcast System at the request of the National Weather Service. Good evening, I'm Lawrence E. Stepp in the WNAS Weather Center with another update here. The National Weather Service in Louisville has issued a tornado warning effective until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for people in the following counties, in South Indiana, Clark, and in North Central Indiana, Oldham. At 5.18 p.m., National Weather Service radar indicated a possible tornado 20 miles north of Louisville or three miles west of Charlestown, Indiana, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Persons in Charlestown should take cover immediately. Once again, the National Weather Service in Louisville has issued a tornado warning effective until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for people in the following counties, in southern Indiana, Clark, and in north central Kentucky, Oldham. At 5.18 p.m., National Weather Service radar indicated a possible tornado 20 miles north of Louisville or three miles west of Charlestown, Indiana, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Persons in Charlestown should take cover immediately. If you're in the path of a tornado, the safest place is in a basement. Get under a workbench or a piece of sturdy furniture. If no basement is available, seek shelter in an interior room, such as a closet on the lowest floor. Use blankets, pillows, or cushions to cover your body. And above all, avoid windows. So people now in Clark County, all of Clark County, should take cover immediately. Do we have an unconfirmed tornado touchdown three miles west of Charlestown, Indiana? We will be giving you more details on this as the situation develops. The whole area under a severe thunderstorm watch until 11 p.m., but, of course, that takes the second seat, I guess, to the tornado warning now for Clark County. Notice here in Floyd County right now, wind is starting to pick up. Looks like we're going to get maybe the brush, uh, brushing end of the storm. You do stay tuned, please, there for any further bulletins as they do come in. We will bring them to you right away. Thank you very much, Lawrence Eastep. Okay. It's exactly 5.30 here on WNAS. And for the evening, the thunderstorms are very likely in this area, some possibly severe. Warm and humid with a temperature in the upper 70s by about 10 o'clock this evening. Tonight, 60% chance of thunderstorms, some again possibly severe, low of near 70 degrees. For the weekend, partly cloudy on Saturday, 50% chance of thunderstorms high in the mid-80s. For Saturday night and Sunday, partly cloudy, a chance of thunderstorms low in the upper 60s and high in the mid-80s, chance of rain 30% both Saturday night and Sunday once again. Uh, the severe thunderstorm watch still in effect until 11 p.m. for the entire listening area, plus the tornado warning for Clark County for another 15 minutes. You all keep it here. We're not going to let you down. We're going to keep you on the top of the latest weather information. Keep pulling him back in the studios with you coming up next on NAS. Some cities in the path of this storm are St. Croix, uh... 
National Weather Service in Louisville has issued a tornado warning for Crawford County in South Central Indiana, effective until 10.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued for Crawford County in South Central Indiana, effective until 10.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Please stay tuned for further details and updates. air. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Greene County and west central Ohio until 8.15 p.m. at 7.46 p.m. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located near Paintersville, moving east at 40 miles an hour. Locations in the path of the storm include Jamestown, in addition, Bowersville, Bell Center, Rosemoo and Gladstone are near the path of this dangerous thunderstorm. If you are near the path of this storm, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Mobile homes and vehicles should be abandoned for more substantial shelter. Avoid windows. A tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. Thursday evening for southeastern Indiana and west central Ohio. A tornado watch also remains in effect until midnight Friday morning for southeast Indiana and northeastern Kentucky and southwestern Ohio. All right, tornado warning for southeastern Greene County and... Cities has issued a tornado warning for Jackson County in East Central Iowa until 2.45 p.m. At 1.54 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a tornado near Makokota, moving northeast at 35 miles an hour. The tornado will be near Andrew around 2.05 p.m., Springbrook around 2.10 p.m., St. Donatus around 2.25 p.m. The safest place to be in a tornado is in a basement or interior room or hallway on the lowest floor of a building. A tornado watch remains in effect until 7 p.m. Friday evening for Eastern Iowa. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 2.45 p.m. for Jackson County, Iowa. Christmas 
Hahn. Tornado warning remains in effect until 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for South Central Fulton, Southern Clayton, Southern Henry, Fayette, Northeastern Coweta, and Northeastern Spalding Counties. At 6.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar continued to indicate a tornado. This tornado was located between Cannon Gate and Tyrone, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Persons in Tyrone and northern Fayette County should move to a safe place now. Other locations in the warning include, but are not limited to Peachtree City, Fayetteville, Kenwood, Inman, Wilsey, Jonesboro, Irondale, J.W. Smith Reservoir, Bonanza, L.O.V.E.J.O.Y., Lakes Bivy, Atlanta Motor Speedway, Hampton, Sunnyside, Eagles Landing, Flippin, T.O.W.A.L.A.G.A., Luella, McDonough, and Blacksville. A tornado watch remains in effect until 1100 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Wednesday evening for much of Georgia. If you see wind damage, large hail, or significant flooding, wait until after the storm has passed and then call the National Weather Service toll free at 1-866-763-4466. Service in Grand Rapids has issued a tornado warning for Southern Barry County in southwest Michigan, Northern Calhoun County in south central Michigan, Southwestern Eaton County in south central Michigan, Northern Kalamazoo County in southwest Michigan, Northeastern Van Buren County in southwest Michigan, until 12.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 
At 11.24 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service meteorologists were tracking a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located 8 miles northeast of Papa and moving east at 60 miles per hour. The warning includes areas surrounding these locations, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Richland, Bellevue, Marshall, Kendall, Goebbels, Oshtemo, Galesburg, Alamo, Augusta, Brookfield, Olivet, Converse Township, Lee Township, Sorosco, Bedford, Springfield, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying objects. in Chicago have issued a tornado warning for Thomas Southern Cook County, Extreme Southeastern DuPage County, North Central Will County, until 7 p.m. At 6 or 2 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado and an off-duty National Weather Service meteorologist reported a tornado. This dangerous storm was located near Woodridge, or near Blakebrook, and moving east at 35 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Dunners Grove, Lemont, Westland, Hinsdale, Burr Ridge, Willow Springs, Log Range, Justice, Lyons, Summit, Worth, Stickney, Oak Lawn, Midway Airport, Ozip, Posen, Blue Island, Chatham, Dalton and Dan. This tornado warning replaces the severe thunderstorm warning that was in effect for the same area. Go to a basement or small interior room on the lowest floor. Motorists should not take shelter under highway overpasses. As a last resort, either park your vehicle and stay put, or abandon your vehicle and lie down in a low-lying area. Service in Burlington has issued a tornado warning for northern Franklin County in northern New York, west central Clinton County in northern New York, until 1.30 p.m. At 1.01 p.m. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. The storm containing the possible tornado was near West Bangor, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Locations in the warning include but are not limited to Malone, Chasm Falls, Brainerdville. When you can do so safely, please report hail or damaging winds to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-863-4279 or by submitting a storm report at weather.gov slash Burlington. When a tornado warning is issued based on Doppler radar, it means that strong rotation has been detected in the storm. A tornado may already be on the ground or is expected to develop shortly. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home or a vehicle outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. A severe thunderstorm wash remains in effect until 8 p.m. Wednesday evening for northern New York and Vermont.
the National Weather Service in Indianapolis has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Davies County, Greene County, northern Martin County until 10.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 9.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located near Linton, or 30 miles southeast of Terre Haute, and moving southeast at 35 miles per hour. In addition, at Midland a rotating wall cloud was reported by train spotters at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time with this storm. This storm has a history of producing ping-pong-sized hail as well. Locations impacted include Bloomfield, Worthington, Swift City, Lyons, Newberry, Crane, Burns City, Owensburg. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. National Weather Service in Grand Rapids has issued a tornado warning for Ingham County in South Central Michigan, Jackson County in South Central Michigan until 5.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 4.49 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, National Weather Service meteorologists were tracking a severe squall line capable of producing brief rain wrap tornadoes in addition to widespread straight line wind damage. This dangerous storm was located near Bellevue and moving east at 70 miles per hour. Very damaging winds have been reported in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek with this storm. The most damaging wind should affect Springport shortly. The warning includes areas surrounding these locations, Jackson, Lansing, Springport, Grass Lake, Concord, Brooklyn, Leperville, Williamston, Stockbridge, Leslie, Mason, Clark Lake, Waterloo Township, Liberty Township, Michigan Center, Tompkins, Vander Cook Lake, Horton. This line of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Squall line tornadoes are often hidden by heavy rain within the squall line. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of your home or business. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and always stay away from windows. If 
and mobile homes or vehicles. Evacuate them and get inside a substantial shelter. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest ditch or other low spot and cover your head with your hands. A tornado watch remains in effect until 11 p.m. Friday evening for southwest North Carolina and East Tennessee and southwest Virginia. Another one. Oh, God. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for Southern Boone, Carroll, Gallatin, Western Grant, Northern Owen, Switzerland, until 4.30 p.m. At 3.47 p.m., a large tornado was on the ground five miles west of Carrollton as reported by spotters. Radar indicated that the tornado producing storm was moving east at 50 miles an hour. This is a tornado emergency. Locations impacted include Carrollton, VV, Warsaw. In addition, another tornadic storm will move into areas immediately south of this storm over the next half hour, affecting northern Owen County and possibly into northwestern Grant County. In addition, Prestonville, General Butler State Park, Braytown, English, Langstaff, Worthville, Easter Day and Kent are near the path of this dangerous thunderstorm. This includes the following interstate. Interstate 71 between mile markers 40 and 75 in Kentucky. Turpeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report tornadoes, final clouds, strong winds or hail to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 877-633-6772. When you can do so safely, a tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Friday evening for southeastern Indiana and northeastern Kentucky and southwestern Ohio. Here we go. Mom. It's on TV. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for East Central Monroe County in Northeast Pennsylvania, West Central Sussex County in Northwest New Jersey, North Central Warren County in Northwest New Jersey, until 10.45 p.m. At 10.04 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado near Wherry Lake, or 16 miles west of Newton, moving east at 10 miles per hour. The tornado will be near Flatbrookville by 10.35 p.m., five points in Grand and Lakes by 10.45 p.m. The safest place to be during a tornado is in a basement. Get under a workbench or other piece of sturdy furniture. If no basement is available, seek shelter on the lowest floor of the building in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and always stay away from windows. If in mobile homes or vehicles, evacuate them and get inside a substantial shelter. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest ditch or other low spot and cover your head with your hands. Please report hail or strong winds to the 
the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-877-633-6772 when you can do so safely. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 10.45 p.m. for the following counties in New Jersey, Sussex, and Warren. In category three. The National Weather Service in Norman has issued a tornado warning for northwestern McLean County in central Oklahoma, southern Oklahoma County in central Oklahoma, northern Cleveland County in central Oklahoma until 3.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 2.59 p.m. Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service meteorologists and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near Newcastle. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving northeast at 20 miles an hour. This is a tornado emergency for more in South Oklahoma City. In addition to a tornado, large destructive hail up to tennis ball size is expected with this storm. Locations impacted include Midwest City, Moore, Newcastle, Stanley Draper Lake, Tinker Air Force Base, and Valley Brook. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. If you cannot get underground, go to a storm shelter or an interior room of a sturdy building now. Take cover now in a storm shelter or an interior room of a sturdy building. Stay away from doors and windows. The National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for northern Dearborn County, southeastern Franklin County, northeastern Ripley County until 6 p.m. At 5.42 p.m., radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado located near Ballstown, moving east at 60 miles an hour. Locations impacted include Pride, in addition, Sunman, Pentown, Weisberg, Lawrenceville, St. Yeah. Peter, Moses, St. Leon and Dover are near the path of this dangerous thunderstorm. This includes the following interstate, Interstate 74 between mile markers 146 and 169. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. To report severe weather, go to our website at weather.gov slash ILAP and submit your report via social media when you can do so safely. Emergency for East Limestone and Northwest Madison County. The National Weather Service in Huntsville has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern Madison County in North Central Alabama, Northeastern Limestone County in North Central Alabama until 5.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 5.13 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near Athens. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving east-northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for East Limestone and Northwest Madison County. This includes Athens, Bethel, Harvest, and Tony. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Northern Huntsville, Athens, Meridianville, Moores Mill, Hazel Green, Harvest, Tony, and Fisk. This is an extremely dangerous tornado with complete devastation likely. You could be killed if not underground or in a tornado shelter. Do not delay. Seek shelter now. If no underground shelter is available, seek shelter in an interior room of the lowest level of a structure, or if time allows, consider moving to an underground shelter elsewhere. Mobile homes and outbuildings will offer no shelter from this tornado. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 5.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Alabama, Limestone, and Madison. Flash flood water.
Shreveport has issued a tornado warning for Southwestern Cattle Parish in northwestern Louisiana, Central Bossier Parish in northwestern Louisiana, East Central Harrison County in northeastern Texas, northeastern Panola County in northeastern Texas, until 8.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time, at 7.25 a.m. Central Daylight Time. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Wascom, or 14 miles west of Shreveport, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and ping pong ball size hail. Source, weather spotters reported final cloud. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Greenwood around 7.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Blanchard around 7.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Shreveport around 7.55 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Bossier City and Fosters around 8 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Benton around 8.05 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Eastwood around 8.10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Dixie, Jonesville, Alden Bridge, Ferguson, Linton, Botgau, Cross Lake, Bethany, Marksdale Air Force Base and Dredge Chute. This tornado warning replaces the severe thunderstorm warning issued for the same area. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in Shreveport. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 8.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time for the following parishes in Louisiana, Bossier, and Caddo, and the following counties in Texas, Harrison, and Panola. God. This is scary as shit. Oh my God. He's got the weather map in the background, the radar. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wish he was here. The 
National Weather Service in Fort Worth has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Hill County in central Texas, southern Johnson County in north central Texas until 10.45 p.m. At 10.10 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Cleburne State Park or nine miles southwest of Cleburne, moving east at 20 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, weather spotters confirmed tornado. Impact, you are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely, and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near, from around 10.25 p.m. Covington around 10.45 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Rio Vista. This includes Interstate 35 West near mile marker 25. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take cover now. The next...
the National Weather Service in Portland has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Pacific County and southwestern Washington until 7 a.m. At 6.36 a.m., Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located near Bay Center, Oregon, 19 miles southeast of Westport and moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Locations impacted include Raymond, South Bend, Bay Center, and Tockland. This includes the following highways in Washington, U, South, Highway 101 between mile markers 38 and 66, State Route 6 between mile markers 1 and 2. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are in a mobile home or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The National Weather Service in Cheyenne has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern Kimball County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, Banner County in the Panhandle of Nebraska, Southeastern Goshen County in Southeastern Wyoming, East Central Laramie County in Southeastern Wyoming, until 6.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 5.51 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Oliver Campground, or 12 miles northwest of Kimball, moving northeast at 35 miles an hour. A second area of rotation was located about 10 miles northwest of Pine Bluffs, also moving northeast. The storm is capable of producing a tornado and hail up to 3 inches in diameter. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Harrisburg around 6.25 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Bushnell. This includes Interstate 80 in Nebraska near mile marker 12. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 6.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following counties in Wyoming, Goshen, and Laramie. Yeah, and this has been this has been on the ground for quite some time. So this is more likely what you would consider uh, a a long track tornado uh, that is about 25 miles plus worth of of, uh, of ground it, it has covered. And um, Baldy. <laughs> in northwestern New Jersey, northwestern Mercer County in central New Jersey, Somerset County in northern New Jersey, north central Middlesex County in northern New Jersey, central Bucks County in southeastern Pennsylvania until 12.30 a.m. At 11.49 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Gardenville, or 20 miles northwest of Trenton, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Durham and Lumberville around 11.55 p.m. New Hope, Stockton, and Berwina around midnight. Sargentville around 12.05 a.m. Sandbrook around 12.10 a.m. Flemington around 12.15 a.m. Cloverhill around 12.20 a.m. Bell Mead around 12.25 a.m. 
Somerville, Bridgewater, Manville, Flagtown, and White House Station around 12.30 a.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include southbound Brook, Raritan, Rockville, and Bernardsville. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 12.30 a.m. Saturday for the following counties in New Jersey, Hunterdon, Merced. The following is a non-precipitation. A severe thunderstorm warning remains.
The National Weather Service in Gray, Maine has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern Rockingham County in southern New Hampshire, East Central Hillsborough County in southern New Hampshire, Southeastern Merrimack County in central New okay. Hampshire like until 6 p.m. At 5.37 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Hooks of Oregon, 8 miles south of Concord, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Manchester around 5.40 p.m. Hooks at around 5.45 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Allenstown, Bow, Pembroke, Dunbarton, Candia, and Deerfield. This includes the following highways, Interstate 293 between mile markers 9 and 11, Interstate 93 between mile markers 24 and 33, Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 6 p.m. for the following counties in New Hampshire, Hillsborough, Merrimack, and Rockingham. If you are outdoors in a mobile... issued a tornado warning for southwestern Polk County in central Iowa, northeastern Madison County in south central Iowa, southeastern Dallas County in central Iowa, northwestern Warren County in south central Iowa, until 5.30 p.m. At 4.58 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Winterset, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Jordan Creek Town Center around 5.20 p.m. West Des Moines, Clive and Norwalk around 5.30 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Walnutwood State Park, Bevington, Spring Hill, Martinsdale, Patterson, Cumming, Badger Creek State Park, and Winterset Madison County Airport. This includes the following highways, Interstate 35 between mile markers 57 and 72, Interstate 80 between mile markers 121 and 124, Interstate 235 near mile marker 1. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Repeating, a tornado will
miracles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near. Eagle around 7.35 p.m. Cottage Grove, Inver Grove Heights and St. Paul Park around 7.40 p.m. South St. Paul and West St. Paul around 7.45 p.m. Woodbury, Oakdale, Lake Elmo and Afton around 8 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Newport, St. Paul Airport, Coates, Sunfish Lake, South St. Paul, South Maplewood, St. Paul Matlagrec Regional Park, Gray Cloud Township, St. Paul Park and Landfall. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This is a tornado warning. The National Weather Service in Jacksonville has issued a tornado warning for northwestern St. Johns County in northeastern Florida, southeastern Duval County in northeastern Florida, until 7.30 p.m. At 7.07 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Mandarin, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, there at around 7.15 p.m. Milkatee and Durban around 7.20 p.m. Pond Vidra Beach and Sawgrass around 7.25 p.m. Palm Valley and Guana River State Park around 7.30 p.m. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.30 p.m. for the following counties, in Florida, Duval and St. John's. Look at those farting last. <laughs> Chicago has issued a 
issued a tornado warning for northwestern Will County in northeastern Illinois, south central Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 3.45 p.m. At 3.02 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Sherwood, or near Shanahan, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and hail up to 2 inches in diameter. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Joliet around 3.05 p.m. Elwood and Rockdale around 3.10 p.m. Lockport, New Lenox and Ingalls Park around 3.20 p.m. Mokina and Goodings Grove around 3.25 p.m. Homer Glen around 3.30 p.m. Orland Park and Frankfurt around 3.35 p.m. Tingley Park around 3.40 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Fairmont, Preston Heights, Crest Hill, Orland Hills, Crystal Lawns, and Frankfurt Square. Including the following interstates, Interstate 55 between mile markers 245 and 255, Interstate 80 between mile markers 123 and 147, Interstate 355 between mile markers 1 and 5. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a tornado warning for northeastern DuPage County in northeastern Illinois, northeastern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 4.30 p.m. At 3.42 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Elmhurst, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Norwich, Elmwood Park, River Forest and River Grove around 3.50 p.m. Oak Park, Austin, Dunning, Portage Park, Belmont Cragen, Morton Grove and Harwood Heights around 3.55 p.m. Irving Park, West Town, West Ridge, Albany Park, Logan Square, Humboldt Park and Lincolnwood around 4 p.m. Chicago, Evanston, Lakeview, Lincoln Park, Uptown, Rogers Park and Edgewater around 4.05 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Jefferson Park, Stone Park, North Park, Golf, Forest Glen, North Center, Berkeley, Lincoln Square, Medona and York Center. This includes Lincoln Park Zoo, Loyola University, Oakton Community College, Triton College, Northeastern Illinois University, Northwestern University, and Wrigley Field. Including the following interstates, Interstate 88 near mile marker 140, Interstate 90 between mile markers 72 and 84, Interstate 94 between mile markers 31 and 48, Interstate 290 between mile markers 3 and 16, Interstate 294 between mile markers 31 and 48. Interstate 355.
service in Albany has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Rensselaer County in east central New York, southwestern Bennington County in southern Vermont until 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 6.27 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Huasic Falls, moving southeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Bennington and Powell around 6.45 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Stanford around at 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Huasa Junction, Paper Mill Village, Sodom, North Pownell, Petersburg Junction, East Huasa, Potter Hill, Babcock Lake, North Huasa and North Bennington. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following county, Rensselaer, New York, and Bennington, Vermont. Service in Little Rock has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Scott County in western Arkansas until 10.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. At 10.19 p.m. Central Standard Time, severe thunderstorms capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight-line wind damage were located near even Runestone State Park, or 15 miles southeast of Porto, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado. This is a radar-indicated threat rotation. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Waldron, Mansfield, Oliver, Morgan Springs, Bates, Black Fork, Cawthorn, Winfield, Hun, Liberty. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Tallahassee has issued a tornado warning for West Central Jefferson County in Big Bend of Florida, Southeastern Leon County in Big Bend of Florida, until 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. At 11.50 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a confirmed tornado was located near Florida A&M, or near Tallahassee, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, emergency management confirmed tornado. Impact, Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of west central Jefferson and southeastern Leon counties, including the following locations, Lake Bradford, Ralford Greenway, Cody, Gaither Community Center, Lake Munson, Lamont, Tallahassee Memorial Hust, Nash, Eight Mile Pond and Thomas City. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. 
avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the following counties in Florida, Jefferson and Leon. We interrupt programming at the request of the National Weather Service to activate the North Texas Emergency Alert System. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Denton County until 1030. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located near Flower Mound, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. The storm has a history of producing two-inch hail or larger in northwestern Tarrant County. This is a radar-indicated tornado warning, radar indicating enough rotation to produce a tornado in this storm. Uh, flying debris can endanger anyone caught outside. Mobile homes can be damaged, destroyed. Stay away from windows. This storm will be near Highland Village and Copper Canyon around 950. Corinth and Hickory Creek around 955, crossing I-35E just south of Denton, probably within the next half hour. Once again, a tornado warning now in effect for southeastern Denton County until 1030. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is over Flower Mound, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. The storm also has a history of producing two-inch hail. All North Texas stations affected by this alert are requested to relay the preceding message. Yeah, Brad Barton again in the uh, WB. ...over West Lockton, or nine miles north of Centerville, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Has the National Weather Service in Birmingham has issued a tornado warning for... Shelby County, southeastern Jefferson County, until 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 12.53 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over West Blockton, or 10 miles north of Centerville, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roof, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Southern Birmingham, Hoover, Vestavia Hills, Alabaster, Bessemer, Homewood, Pelham, Mountain Brook, Trusto, Helena, Irondale, Leeds, Moody, Chelsea, Childersburg, Wilsonville, Indian Springs Village, Vincent, Harpersville, and Westover. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Alabama, Jefferson and Shelby. Service in Pueblo has issued a tornado warning for southeastern El Paso County in east central Colorado, northeastern Pueblo County in southeastern Colorado, until 1 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 12.25 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 11 miles north of Pueblo Depot, or 24 miles northeast of Pueblo, moving northeast at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying.
flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, trucked in around 12.50 p.m. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a tornado warning for East Central Cook County in northeastern Illinois until 12.15 p.m. At 11.49 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over East Garfield Park or over West Town, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Lincoln Park, Navy Pier and near Northside around 11.55 a.m. Lakeview, Uptown and Edgewater around noon. This includes Lincoln Park Zoo, Hawthorne Park, Soldier Field, University of Illinois Chicago, Wrigley Field, The Loop, Museum Campus, and Northerly Island, including the following interstates, Interstate 55 between mile markers 285 and 294, Interstate 94 between mile markers 44 and 55, Interstate 290 between mile markers 19 and 29, Interstate 294 between mile markers 44 and 55. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. National Weather Service in Mount Holly, New Jersey has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Sussex County in southern Delaware until midnight at 11.36 p.m. Sophia thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Millville, or 13 miles north of Ocean City, moving northwest at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Georgetown, Milton, Millville, Long Neck, and Ocean View. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornado warning for East Central Will County in northeastern Illinois, northeast 
to Newton County in northwestern Indiana, southwestern Porter County in northwestern Indiana, Lake County in northwestern Indiana, northwestern Jasper County in northwestern Indiana, until 12.45 a.m. At midnight, a line of severe thunderstorms capable of producing brief tornadoes was located near St. John, or near Cedar Lake, to Beecher, moving east at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Cedar Lake around 12.05 a.m. Crown Point, Lowell and Lake Dalacarlia around 12.10 a.m. Winfield around 12.15 a.m. Lakes at the Four Seasons around 12.20 a.m. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Hebron. This includes Indiana University Northwest, Ileana Motor Speedway, and Lake County Fairgrounds. Including the following interstates, Indiana Interstate 80 between mile markers 8 and 14. Indiana Interstate 90 between mile markers 23 and 30. Indiana Interstate 65 between mile markers 227 and 260. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Tornadoes are extremely difficult to see and confirm at night. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. Take... in northwestern Indiana until 12.45 a.m. At 12.21 a.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Westville, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Lockport around 1.35 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This includes the following highways, Interstate 80 in Indiana between mile markers 38 and 56. Interstate 94 in Indiana between mile markers 33 and 36. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If in a mobile home, a vehicle, or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Sullivan has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Columbia County in south-central Wisconsin, northeastern Dane County in south-central Wisconsin, northwestern Jefferson County in southeastern Wisconsin, southwestern Dodge County in southeastern Wisconsin, until 1.15 a.m. At 12.42 a.m., severe thunderstorms capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight-line wind damage were located near Columbus, moving southeast at 40 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Eastern Madison, Sun Prairie, Windsor, Lake Mills, Marshall, Waterloo, DeForest, Cottage Grove, Deerfield, Richwood, Deonsville, East Bristol, Hubbleton, and Token Creek. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. 
If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Sioux Falls has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Buena Vista County in northwestern Iowa, southern Clay County in northwestern Iowa, until 7.15 p.m. At 6.30 p.m., a confirmed tornado was located near Greenville, or three miles south of Spencer in Clay County, moving southeast at 20 miles an hour. Hazard, damaging tornado. Source, weather spotters confirmed tornado. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Sioux Rapids, Webb, and Marathon. To repeat, a tornado is on the ground. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.15 p.m. for the following counties, in Iowa, Clay and Buena Vista. Service in Milwaukee Sullivan has issued a tornado warning for 
southwestern Dane County in south central Wisconsin until 7.30 p.m. At 6.34 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 7 miles north of Blanchardville, or 11 miles southwest of Mount Horeb, moving east at 30 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Fitchburg, Verona, Mount Horeb, Belleville, Blue Mounds, Mount Vernon and Paoli. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. with clouds at times. Partly cloudy skies again. The National Weather Service in Sioux Falls has issued a tornado warning for northern Davison County in southeastern South Dakota, southwestern Sanborn County in east central South Dakota, Northeastern Aurora County in South Central South Dakota, until 7.30 p.m. At 6.47 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Storla, or 11 miles north of Plankington, moving east at 30 miles an hour. Hazard, tornado and tennis ball size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, store around 6.55 p.m. Letcher around 7.10 p.m. Loomis around 7.15 p.m. Mitchell around 7.25 p.m. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 7.30 p.m. for the following counties in South Dakota, Sanborn, Aurora, and Davison. National Weather Service in Paducah has issued a tornado warning for Northwestern Christian County, Kentucky, Caldwell County, Kentucky, Southern Hopkins County in Northwestern Kentucky, Northeastern Lyon County, Kentucky, until 11 p.m. At 10.09 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Adito, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. This tornado has a history of producing significant damage. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado. Tornadic debris has been confirmed by radar. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near Princeton and Farmersville around 10.30 p.m. Only around 10.40 p.m. Dawson Springs around 10.45 p.m. Burlington around 10.55 p.m. Madisonville and Morton's Gap around 11 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include White Plains, St. Charles, Nebo and Fryer. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. 
If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 11 p.m. for the following counties in Kentucky, Caldwell. Des Moines, Carlisle, Principal Park, Iowa Events Center, Drake Stadium and Knapp Center, Pleasant Hill and Iowa State Fairgrounds. This includes the following highways. Inter A tornado warning remains in effect until 5.15 p.m. for southwestern Polk, northeastern Madison, southeastern Dallas and northern Warren counties. At 4.39 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Winterset, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado. Tornadic debris has been confirmed by radar. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely and complete destruction is possible. Locations impacted include Des Moines, West Des Moines, Indianola, Norwalk, Pleasant Hill, Winterset, Windsor Heights, Carlisle, Silorville, South Ridge Mall, Iowa State Fairgrounds, Principal Park, Des Moines International Airport, Drake Stadium and Knapp Center, Iowa Events Center, Hartford, Martinsdale, Cumming, Patterson and Bevington. To repeat, a large, extremely dangerous and potentially deadly tornado is on the ground. To protect your life, take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning remains in effect until 5.15 p.m. for the following counties, in Iowa, Dallas, Madison, Polk and Warren. A tornado warning remains in Tornado warning for the following county, Lake, Florida. The National Weather Service in Melbourne has issued a tornado warning for southwestern Lake County in East Central Florida until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 7.33 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Groveland, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Groveland around 7.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Claremont around 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Manila. Take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in the Twin Cities has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Hennepin County, southeastern Arlokla County, northern Ramsey County, until 9 p.m. At 8.23 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Brooklyn Park, or 10 miles north of Minneapolis, moving northeast at 65 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and quarter-size hail. 
This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, shortly around 8.30 p.m. Blaine, Lino Lakes and Ham Lake around 8.35 p.m. Hugo around 8.40 p.m. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Forest Lake. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. The Locations impacted include Elmhurst, Madison, Roselle, Elk Grove Village, Bentonville, Woodale, and Itasca. Including the following interstate, interstate 290 between mile 1. The National Weather Service in Chicago has issued a tornado warning for northwestern Cook County in northeastern Illinois until 4.30 p.m. At 3.48 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Addison, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near O'Hare Airport, Elk Grove Village and Franklin Park around 3.55 p.m. Schiller Park and Rosemont around 4 p.m. Arlington Heights, Death Plains, Park Ridge and Rolling Meadows around 4.05 p.m. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Palatine, Mount Prospect, Glenview, Niles, Morton Grove, Prospect Heights, Buffalo Grove, Wheeling, Northbrook, Winnetka, Northfield, Deerfield and Glencoe. This includes Open Community College, including the following interstates, Interstate 90 between mile marker 67 and 78, Interstate 94 between mile markers 26 and 35, Interstate 290 between mile markers 1 and 4, Interstate 294 between mile markers 26 and 35, Ohm to Downs, Tornado Warning, 1. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Outdoors, 
in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Chicago has issued a tornado warning for northeastern King County in northeastern Illinois, northwestern Cook County in northeastern Illinois, until 6.45 p.m. At 5.54 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over west of E, or over Carpentersville, moving east at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Barrington Hills and East Dundee around 6 p.m. Hoffman Estates around 6.05 p.m. Bartlett around 6.10 p.m. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Barrington, Streamwood, Inverness, Hanover Park, Schaumburg and Palatine. This includes Schaumburg Brewers Baseball, including the following interstate, Interstate 90 between mile markers 52 and 65. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This was a little unexpected. The National Weather Service in State College, Pennsylvania, has issued a tornado warning for Central Juliana County in Central Pennsylvania, Central Perry County in South Central Pennsylvania, until 9.15 p.m. At 8.21 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Mexico, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and hail up to 2 inches in diameter. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near New Bloomfield and Newport around 8.40 p.m. Shermansdale and Duncannon around 9 p.m. 
Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Thompson Town, Fort Royal, Lannisburg, and Midland Town. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 9.15 p.m. for the following counties, Indiana and Perry.